close your eyes and watch the breath. The breath is a good place to be because wherever you go, there it is. You hear what may tell you can be on the other side of the world. Wherever you are, the breath is right there. It gives you something to take as your focus. So that no matter what the situation, you've got a good solid place inside. Of course, it requires some skill to make it solid, because the breath is always there. It's been there all the time. It's just that the mind is not there. It's off someplace else. Or its thoughts go someplace else. Actually, your awareness is still here, but it's not focused in this frame of reference. You've got to change the frame of reference. So that the breath becomes more important, and your relationship to the breath becomes more important. Now you begin to gain the benefits that can come, both from having the breath move smoothly through the body and having the mind settle down. We create so many needless problems for ourselves by just allowing the mind to think about whatever comes in. So here we show some restraint. A lot of people don't like the idea of restraint. They feel hemmed in. They feel confined. But when you're being restrained from creating suffering from yourself, that's a good restraint. It actually creates a sense of freedom, because you don't have to deal with the results of unskillful actions, because you're doing something skillful with the breath, skillful with your mind. And that's going to have a good influence now and on into the future. So much emphasis is placed on being in the present moment. But one of the reasons we're here is not just because the present moment is a good place to hang out. Often it's not a good place to hang out. But by being properly in the present moment, you're creating the situations, the causes for the ability to find some well-being here and also to find well-being into the future. You're opening up new possibilities. So as you close off some things, you're opening up others. And John Lee's image is of planting rice. Sometimes you open the dike into the field so the water can come in, and other places you close it so the water can stay and nourish the rice. So you have to know what to open, what to close in the mind, what to say yes to, what to say no to. Because often a lot of the no's will open up some yeses that you wouldn't have known otherwise. So don't say restraint as a confinement. It's actually a re-channeling of your energies in the right direction. And try to keep that mind wherever, in mind wherever you go. The breath helps you keep that in mind every time you settle down with the breath. Have some dharma thoughts that go in the mind as well. Associate your breath with the dharma. And that way you have a refuge wherever you go.